What's up YouTube, Speedy Superior here once again with another stat on another Pokemon. And this time is Jumpluff. Jumpluff, uh, uh, Jumpluff, wow, yeah, awesome. Jumpluff is a Pokemon that is hardly used, I hardly see it. I see it sometimes, but it's not used the correct way, um, in my opinion. Um, let's see, I came up with some strategies that Jumpluff works with and... Because at first I didn't know what to do with Jump Bluff. And if you look at its moveset, you can come up with some strategies for Jump Bluff. Um, we can, if you look at his stats, first of all, we see that he has a base 110 speed, which is what Jump Bluff excels at. We do see a base 75 hit points and 70 base defense and 95 base special defense. So you see that his special defense is pretty amazing and his defense is workable. And his hit points are pretty decent. So, I decided to give it a timid nature just to support that speed that it has. Um, I went with Leftovers, which remember, it does restore 1 out of 16 of your max life uh, every turn. And Chlorophyll, in case you're trying to go for a 17, you can um, outspeed any, anybody. It is The speed is doubled. Or if you don't want to go for Chlorophyll, you think it's useless. You could go for Leaf Guard in sunny, when the sunny day is active. Um, let's see, any status problem for this Pokemon will fail, basically. Um, or if you don't want that still, you could go for Infiltrator, which means it, it ignores basically everything that protects the other Pokemon. For example, if the other Pokemon thinks that they can substitute... Um, Nothing's going to fail for on your side. You're still going to go through the substitute, so it's like a free turn for you. So here's how this works. You use Sleep Powder to start with. Then you use Leech Seed while they're sleeping. Then you substitute yourself, because most likely they're probably going to be sleeping two turns. And then for the third turn, you use Protect. And that's how it's going to go. If they wake up again, you use another sleep powder, and you're basically stalling them out with leech seed. And they can't taunt you because you are you are behind the substitute. So the EV spread for Jump Pluff is, of course, Tim in Nature. I decided to go with 240 on hit points, 200 on defense, and 68 on speed. This is what works good for Jump Pluff. Uh, you're supporting the speed. You're increasing his durability. And I'm sorry if you hear some honking outside. It's my neighbors. Uh, neighbors. But, um, let's see. That's how this first jump pluff works. Now, going to the second set. And it's a, a different set. This time it's more of a support type jump pluff. Because this first one, it's just stall, completely stalls anybody else out. And the second one is a support one. Again, leftovers is the best. I'd recommend this item for jump pluff. And I decided to go with Jolly Nature because it does have a 55 base attack and special attack. So it doesn't matter which way you go, it's physical or special, it will hit the same way on both sides. And again, you could go for Infiltrator if you're not doing anything with Sunny Day. So this is how this goes, okay? So if they outspeed you, you can just um, either Stun Spore or Sleep Powder. So then if the move they used, you just keep them in that move for three turns. You can U-turn and or and allow another teammate to come in and just finish the Pokemon off after Sleep Powder or Stun Spore. Either way, either if you want to slow down the Pokemon or if you want to stall it out with Sleep uh, while you bring a, a Pokemon in. Or you trap it in a move. The EV spread for this jump bluff is 252 on hit points, 252 on defense, and just 4 on speed. You are outspeeding a lot. Um, I believe you are on about the same speed as Mega, Me Me Mega Metagross. So um, that's pretty good. Pretty good speed of Jolly Nature once again. Now the third jump bluff, um, I'm not, uh, let's see, I'm not positive that you can find Flying Gem and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. I haven't found one yet, but I know that you can transfer them. I transferred all the gems that I got from Omega, from X and Y over to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So, yeah, it works best if you use a Flying Gem, but if you don't 
if you don't have a flying gem, you can always use a citrus berry um, for gem plus because you are using acrobatics in this set. So, but the recommended one is flying gem because you're gonna go for acrobatics. It will increase the attack because you're not gonna be holding any more items after using it. So this is how the the EV. I'm gonna start with the EV spread for this. So I decided to go with Adamate Nature on this. Um, it's pretty different. Um, four on hit points, full on attack, 200 on defense, and 52 on speed. That's the EV spread for this jump bluff. So it has almost about a little bit in every single stat status. So, and of course, again, you decide what ability you want. Infiltrator is a hidden ability for jump bluff if you want to work for Infiltrator. It's a really good ability. I know I used it with um, several Pokemon, for example, Meowstic or the um, evolution of Golbat, which is Crobat. Infiltrator works pretty well. So the this set goes like this, okay? So you Sleep Powder once again. You start with Sleep Powder. Then you Swords Dance. You can either do it once or twice. And then you can use Acrobatics You're using your Flying Gem. And then you could still, again, for, go for Acrobatics. Remember, the power is doubled if you're not holding any more items. So it's 55 plus 55. That's how you're going to do the math on Acrobatics. It's going to be hitting pretty hard. Plus that sword stance that you get, it's going to be really good. And yeah, Jumpluff does get sword stance. He can dance with swords, that co floating cotton ball. So um, the fourth Jumpluff. Again, back to leftovers, ability, it's your option. Um, the EV spread for this jump bluff is two, full on HP, 200 on defense, and 56 on speed, jolly nature. Um, this is how this goes. This is another support jump bluff, which is a sleep powder one. Um, you use sleep powder, or if you want to wait for them to use a move, you can go for encore afterwards. And then you can U-turn. If you just are having complete trouble with a Pokemon uh, that's in front of you, um, you can use Memento, which lowers their attack and special attack by two, but you faint. Here's the problem about this. Whenever they switch out, their attack and special attack go back to normal. So you got to be smart about when you're going to use this, this move, because if you use it in the wrong moment, you are losing your jump bluff, which means it's a lost teammate. And it could it could cause the fail for the the loss of the battle. So you just gotta be smart when to use memento. You can't just always use it because the switch out is all can always return everything to normal and it's like you just faint at your own Pokemon. So just be smart about memento. And if you, you don't want to risk memento, you can always go for a different different um move. Remember, um Jump Puff does get Cotton Guard, which boosts the defense by two. It does get a lot of other moves, for example, Giga Drain, it does get Bullet Seed, it does get um, Solar Beam, it gets a lot of different things. Infestation, it even gets it. Um, there's Toxic, if you want to use Toxic instead of Memento, or Synthesis, there, there's just a lot. Cotton Spore, there's <clears throat> Double Team that you could use to boost your evasion if you want to stay in the battle. There's just so much you can use, but Memento is the best move for this because it is a support jump bluff. You just got to be careful when to use that move because you can't use it all the time. So that's pretty much it for jump bluff. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun doing this video because jump bluff is not a very seen Pokemon. and It is just fun doing Pokemon that aren't really used. And then you're like, wow, he gets this move and he, he's an amazing Pokemon. After trying jump bluff out in battles... He really does work. He he does his job perfectly fine. I I don't think I've seen another Pokemon do it better. Jump I recommend Jump Pluff right now. Especially since not a lot of people are running Jump Pluff. Uh until they they discover what Jump Pluff is capable of. I know he has a four times weakness to ice, a weakness to rock, a weakness to fire, flying, and a lot of other weaknesses. But Jump Pluff can get through them. His speed can make him make him really him or her really good so just think about it you you might want to use a jump bluff in the future and then um just let me know if you do use it it's pretty good pokemon so i hope you really enjoyed your day don't forget to go back to the giveaway enter for a sylveon i still have like a full box of hatch chinese chinese oh yeah i'm messing up my words today chinese sylveons 
So their 6 IV with a, bo a bonus item, which is leftovers, according to the how to, how to use Sylveon video, that's what the leftovers is coming from. And yeah, until tomorrow, I would say. Thank you for watching once again. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future videos. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and thank you.